What's up, boo? Gang? Popping bull, gang? What's going on in the life of a Torian for mid-month June 2019? Are you guys in this space of reminiscing? Green Days, the song is called Reunited, huh? Reunited and it feels so good. Reunited cause we understood. We We both are so excited cause we reunited. Hey, hey. What's going on, bulls? Y'all reminiscing? About being reunited with someone. <laughs> hey, boo head, this is the first time you're on my channel. I'm Oka. Also, this is the first time you're on my channel. Look how I cuss. Make us a little, make us a lot. Just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So, cussing don't work for you. Please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you. For the new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. We are dysfunctional. We don't fight and fuss, though. We leave that shit on other people's channels. But we do, we, we cuss. We grow. We love. We share. We enlighten. Posy vibes only over here, okay? To the returning subscribers, gang, gang, what's up, baby? Welcome back, you guys. This is month of June, though. <laughs> so, you guys, this message uh, may not resonate with everybody. Take what does, leave the rest. Thank you in advance for all the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments. I truly appreciate it. I'm self-conscious about my damn meal. It broke out while I was trying to clear my damn room. I cleared the combs and do some cleans and then throw some shit away. So, excuse me, because when I'm finished doing these damn mid months for the earth signs, I'm going to get my nails done and give me a damn drink. Fall back season, okay? You guys, if you need a personal reading, that information can be found in the description below. This will be for the mid month June for my uh, for my tourists, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers. Let's crank out with your intuitive messages, okay? Let's get it. Let's get it. For mid month June, what I got for my Taurians is. Ancestral connections, new business, take only the lesson, religion, reprogramming, blessing in disguise, revelations, new beginnings, forgiveness, unexpected events, karma, renewal, awakenings, codependency, reunions, esoteric insight. Spiritual abundance, fulfillment, new love, soul contract, alignment, success, sabotage. Okay? So if any of those intuitive messages did resonate with you, this is your message. All right? Let's talk about it. Overall energy around the reading, I got the queen of spades. Okay? So some of you all could possibly be uh, in this energy, very passionate energy, very um, for some of you all, very sexual energy that I feel. I feel like, Taurus, either you or another person is truly hot for one another. I feel that some of you guys could be um, possibly reminiscing or reconnecting uh, with a fire sign from the past. Okay? This could be Aries, Leo, Sag, all right? Ultimately, some of you all could also be embarking on a new business endeavor. Okay? And for others of you, this could have to do with your business endeavors that you're already on the path of the path towards success on a lot of you guys are going to be getting some positive news in, uh, regarding for some of y'all assets investments and others of you collaboration okay first angel message that you guys got this month was brilliant idea archangel uriel yes your idea is divinely guided Please take action to bring your idea into fruition, okay? So some of you guys, this is about, this is going to be a month of movement, okay? Some of you are also maybe receiving some type of esoteric insights. You may be receiving um, some type of confirmations or as well as direction, uh, like direction points, some type of direction pointing or wayward showing in your dreams. Some of you all, you're needing to do more listening than talking during this time, okay? Especially when it pertains to business ideas, collaborations, building with someone, act contracts, um, any type of loan agreements. Definitely ask the right questions, but I do see that you guys are going to receive some type of, um, some spark of an idea or some type of idea that is going to bring you a lot of abundance going forward in the future, okay? The next, uh, the next angel message that you guys got comes from Archangel Chamuel. Beloved 
I'm helping you with your soulmate, I'm sorry, with your spiritual soulmate relationship, okay? So some of you all, this definitely involves some type of soulmate reunion, okay? I'm hearing reunion a whole lot. Others of you, this has to do with the throat chakra as well as the sacral chakra during this time. Some of you all are really needing to speak your truth, speak the things that really make you happy, speak the things that you are passionate about. And for people who don't fall in line or fall in agreement with your plans going forward as well as, which is going to really ultimately impact your growth. Hey, look at <laughs> We got to keep it moving, but at least we have an understanding. Okay. All right, so I definitely feel some of you all could also be having some type of ties to an ancestor. Some of you could be dreaming of ancestors during this time. For some of you, this has to do with the grandmother. Others of you, this could have to do with an aunt or an uncle. Others of you may be dreaming of horses during this time, gold horses. And some of you all may have some type of um, infatuation with unicorns. This could also be archangels as well. A lot of y'all going to be praying to the archangel legion during this time. All right, so moving over into love, overall energy, six of rods, okay? So some of you all could be going into um, the month really feeling victorious about matters of the heart, okay? For some of you all, the victorious, this victory is around some type of reconciliation, possibly with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here being with the four of rods. Others of you, this could also have to do with the twin flame union or some type of family dynamic or family structure. This could also be, I'm seeing um, children here, so some of y'all could be resurrecting a family dynamic or a marriage, bringing some type of renewal around it. Others of you, you guys are reconnecting. Here with the damn star card, I got this ace of cups here. Some of you all are definitely connecting possibly with a new love, okay? And for some of you all, I feel a whole lot of life partner energy, someone who um, it was fated for you to meet. For some of you all, you actually may be re reconnecting with this person and actually moving into commitment extremely fast, or there's talks about commitment extremely fast. Some of you all could also be dealing with the Libra. I definitely feel like someone needs to speak their truth about equal give and take, someone being able to give and take reciprocity, practicing reciprocity, that being the focus during this time. And some of you all... Some of y'all, there could be some type of reconciliation due to someone possibly leaving the situation, okay? Someone could have actually connected with someone in their past. This could be you or your partner's energy, okay? But someone could be looking back towards a Leo during this time. If you are connected to a Libra, a Libra could be looking back towards a Leo or an Aquarius. If you're connected to a fire sign, it's fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could be looking backwards in their past, but there's someone has some type of tie to a family dynamic, okay? Others of you, you've been manifesting this happiness. You've been by focusing on your happiness, focusing on your self-love, focusing on being upright with your damn self, focusing on your manifestation. Some of you guys are moving into uh, some type of passionate dynamic with an Aquarian, but it's going to be after releasing and moving away from a situation where there has to be a fair give and take with someone or uh, someone who you could possibly have some type of family dynamic with. Others of you are connecting with the fire sign or water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of y'all could be adding new additions to the, or hearing the, or feeling left out or hearing, someone could be hearing or reconciling with someone because they're hearing that someone is pregnant. And for some of you, you've been manifesting this person back from your past. And I feel like for some of you all, there's going to be some type of, Letting go, it's like a let go to begin. So it's kind of like a a sunset for like a sunset for somebody and a sunrise for another person in this dynamic. Okay, but I definitely see the energy of a reconciliation here, and I have the king and queen of wands. Okay, some of you guys could definitely be dealing with what you feel is a soulmate or some type of divine partnership here, divine soulmate union. But I definitely see. Uh, a reconciliation. Some of you guys could be dealing with the twin flame here with the 1111. And this is karmic justice and there will be victory moving forward, okay? Someone, some of you all, this could have to do with hearing some type of information regarding someone being victorious and walking away. Or someone could be walking away from victorious to go find their victory, go find their fulfillment. And I do see them doing so. Um, however, they're going to have to possibly turn down some type of offer to reconcile. And for some of you all, this is what you're afraid of, being rejected, either you or another person. Why is the Justice card here? For my Tauruses, yeah. 
Some of you all could definitely be finding out that someone um, could be wanting to move forward or move away. Some of you guys could be wanting to move forward into some type of spiritual marriage or some type of marriage with the uh, with the fire sign. Why is the Six of Pentacles here with the Ten of Cups? Someone wants to give equally in a partnership. Yeah, somebody's ang somebody is very anxious about moving towards some type of family dynamic because they're going to have to leave someone here in this Four of Cups energy. I feel like someone who didn't see you as a blessing before, Taurus, now this person is able to see your worth and see your value, and it's up to you if you want to reconcile with this person. Why is the Ace of Cups here with the Four of Rods? Two of them fell. Yeah. For some of you all, this is about healing. Healing the aspect of reciprocity in a union, okay? In order to, for things to move forward in an upright manner. Why is the Star card here? Why is the Star card here? Why is the star card here? Yeah. Some of you all could have been trying to focus so hard on what it is that you were trying to manifest. And in doing so, you manifested the ending. But in manifesting this ending, for some of y'all, this had to do with being unable to release a cycle, release a situation, circumstance, situation, oh, situationship, relationship. Why is the six of swords here with the queen of rods? And the four of cups. I feel that someone is wanting to travel towards you, Taurus, and maybe you or another person is wanting to travel towards this fire sign. Yeah, after walking away from something or someone else, okay? Someone wants to move away from their past and offer love to someone or something that is deserving of it due to their possibly being in addition with the child, okay? For some of you all, I'm hearing missed opportunity comes back, and I'm also hearing returns, okay? So for some of you all, this has to do with, yeah, passionately coming forward, passionately, passionately coming back to bring fairness to a situation around some type of family dynamic. Some of you could definitely be dealing with fire. It's a lot of fire in this reading, fire and water. The air cards I have here are healing. So if you're dealing with an air sign, you could be healing the situation, possibly after someone wanted to, uh, made a move to leave, but someone could be coming back or returning to reconcile, which is going to bring abundance, stable new beginning, fulfillment. Some of y'all definitely got a child coming into play. Those of you who were engaged, there could have been a broken engagement. I do see the engagement is back on. Congratulations, Taurus. Come through now. Overall outcome, a releasing. A releasing and a new beginning. Here possibly with the fire sign. Aries Leo sad, but some of you all this could also include another uh, another earth sign. Capricorn towards Virgo. Some of y'all could this could definitely have to do with some type of investment in a business and things going smoothly. Okay? And for others of you, this has to do with harmony, making an offer to bring harmony back into a situation, which ultimately serve justice okay so you guys let me know how this resonates all right but i do see a, um, a releasing for a new beginning to take place and for some of you all you're really just focusing on how this is going to affect your children but just know that there is a mass healing taking taking effect and for some of y'all this definitely has to do with abundance around a family dynamic okay so you guys let me know how this resonates if you need a person reading that information can be found within the description and i love you long time see you guys for the month of july Bye, y'all.